Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do what someone really needs to hear this read. So this is little Delilah, she's our little spirit guide and mascot here on the channel. She's dressed like a candy corn for fall celebration. Uh, so she says hello, shout out to everybody in case nobody told you today. Delilah and I love you. This is going to be for all signs, whoever resonates with this. This is also going to be for whenever you come across it, it's timeless, right? So it's not dated. Um... Don't forget, guys, two situations. Situation one, don't give your money out to anybody on the internet that contacts you. You contact your reader. If you want to contact me, my information is in the box below on how to do that. Second situation is the buttons and the bells that everybody's sick of hearing about and getting shoved down their throat. So please, just do what feels right in your heart. That's between you and God, and uh, you know I'll thank you ahead of time. Don't be a gavon. The energy is sick thick on YouTube, right? It's worldwide, so... Take only what resonates with you. That's only if something resonates. Don't make it resonate if it doesn't. Leave the rest for everyone else. Uh, time is, anywhere. I said that, uh, we are gender neutral. So I may say he or she, depending on the card that comes out, but you could be in your masculine or your feminine at any time. So please apply the energy to the situation if it applies to the situation. Uh, we are definitely reading reversals. And here we go, clear and ground. So with an attitude of gratitude, I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relate clear and concise messages for whoever needs to hear this. Someone needs to hear this. Someone needs to hear this. All signs. Someone needs to hear this. Give me parts. Four of Pentacles in reverse. So there's some kind of delay or somebody's got some kind of opposition in their way with something in their lives, but you're standing your ground on it. Uh, at the foundation, there was something very happy, something that maybe was illuminated to you, but, uh, you know, Sun is the happiest card in the deck. So some kind of, you know, love, family, happiness, warmth, um, prosperity. You have a six of pentacles in reverse. So this could talk about, this is crowning, you know, somebody could be very envious around you, jealous, you know, somebody could desire what you have and, you know, to them, like whatever they see, like they could be making up illusions. Maybe you really don't have it, but in their eye, it looks like you do. So, you know, they're jealous of uh, an illusion. Now, what else do we have? Show me. Coming in the near future, which you don't see, is the Two of Cups in reverse. So this talks about uh, some kind of imposter around you, somebody who's trying to, you know, pull something over the wool of your eyes, I'm hearing. Uh, it would you'd have to do with emotions, like making you think that they feel one way about you. Like they have these emotions when they really don't. So it's, it's a terror tactic and it's also a manipulation, right? They want to get you to feel something so they can manipulate you. Now, you got this Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands talks about um, success and passion. So being successful and passionate with something in your life. Now, you got the Nine of Wands in reverse. Some kind of obstacles are in your actual environment. There are obstacles. Show me. Show me. Show me, please, and thank you. Please, thank you. One more. Come on. There we go. We got a flipper. Six of Swords. Okay, sorrow in transition, moving away to calmer waters. So that's what some of you are going to choose to do. This, you know, yeah. Taking your swords and getting out. Sick of the drama, sick of the aggravation, right? Show me. Oh my God, with these cards. One, please. Just one. Just one, Spirit and Ancestors. Stop. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Here we go. Show me. Can I just have one, please? We like them to pop on this channel. I don't like to just pick them out. <clears throat> I might have to, though. No, it popped. All right, good. Page of Cups. Okay, so some of you could be getting some good news. That's a good thing, right? Uh, water, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. It could be a younger sign. It could be somebody just coming in very innocently, you know, maybe asking you. It could even just be somebody trying to make friends with you. But it's trustworthy. It's very innocent. You got the three of cups in reverse. This talks about, um, you know, some kind of an achievement. So, you know, the end of a situation and, uh, you know, something happening quickly. Or going on some kind of expedition or something. Now, 
Let's clarify. Uh, yeah, let's do this. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. Show me these four principles, please. What's the four principles of reverse? Let's clarify by the five of wands, some aggression around you, some uh, people arguing, people fighting. Leo, Leo energy, conflict, struggle, disputes, right? That's why you're standing your ground. Yep. What this is, this is why you're standing the ground. You've got like aggressive people around you. And what else do we have? Yeah, dishonesty and, and disloyalty. And this is the card of premeditation. People like plotting to do bad things to you. This is why you stand in your ground. This is, you know, people with bad intentions all around you. Okay. Sneakiness, lying, stealing, you name it. You name it. Yep. Definitely premeditation. That's what that card is. Okay. A premeditation card. Meditating card. So keep standing your ground, whoever this is. Whoever's resonating with this. Show me. One card for the Seven of Swords. Okay. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles. Trying to take something you were investing effort on. You're at, in something you're investing effort on, somebody's trying to take from you. Period. End of story. That's how that goes. So you're standing your ground now. Show me. Oh, listen to this. We got to take this. There's going to be a breakthrough. Ace of Pentacles. Some kind of a new beginning. All right. Maybe it was some new beginning you had that you invested effort on. Now somebody wants to come in and take it from you. So now it stands your ground. That's what, you know. This is what this is telling you. Stand your ground. So you got the Queen of Wands. Use your head over your heart. This is somebody, you know, Aries energy, uh, but definitely somebody who would, uh, you know, not get not get emotionally manipulated, I'm hearing. This is somebody who's strong, brave, independent. Take no shit. Cut you right off. Yep. So... Knight of Wands in Reverse. Okay, so Knight of Wands in Reverse, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody, okay. First of all, there could be some kind of a division or an interruption in some kind of a situation. But in Reverse, this is somebody who's irresponsible, immature, you know, jealous, deceitful, um, backstabbing, manipulative. Uh, yeah. Mean. Somebody who cheats, lies. Maybe, maybe steals. You got okay. We have to take these. You got an ace of cups. So the ace of cups talks about joy, happiness, and contentment. And you got somebody who could be watching you here. Maybe somebody's watching you be happy now. With this uh, page of swords is again somebody who minds somebody else's business. All right, they don't know how to mind their own. So whether it's a neighbor, a friend, a coworker, just people online, all up in your all up in your business. I'm hearing. So now. <clears throat> Foundation, something happy. Leo energy, right? Mm -hmm. Got two aces on the board. That's good. Show me this Leo energy. Ay, ay, ay. Too many cards, people. I'm so sorry. They're sticking together because let's keep the three of cups. Yeah, there was something that brought happiness, solace, and healing into your life, okay? And it was very regenerating and illuminating and warm. It was the best thing for you, I'm hearing. Okay. Could have been with family, friends. Could have been after a time of pause or reflection, cutting yourself off from society, thinking about what was right for you, where your life was going, what choices you wanted to make, who you were, loving yourself, pouring into yourself, coming out of the cave, which is you know, your that's you, right? You're the cave. Uh, yep. Okay. Hmm. Show me. What's the hermit? What's the hermit? Virgo energy, I said, right? Yeah. Being in a time of nostalgia, like thinking back on the past, thinking about... No, I'm, thank you, Spirit. Thinking back about everything that happened in the past, good, bad, or indifferent, I'm hearing. To learn your lessons from it and move forward in a positive direction. This is what I'm hearing. Not making the same mistakes over again. This time making all new ones, I'm hearing... So, uh, you have the four of pentacles holding on tightly. So you could be holding on tightly to these memories. You could be holding on tight, holding back with your money right now. This is a card of holding back. You could also be holding back with your feelings, your emotions, uh, you know, you name it. Show me this four of pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Energy. Show me the four of pentacles. 
I'm going to card. Thank you. Some kind of choice you have to make. Gemini energy. There's some kind of choice you had to make in this. Okay, so that's Gemini energy. And then you're going to have to make a choice fast about what you're going to be, you know, investing your effort in, I'm hearing. So that's Cancer energy now. So you got Cancer, Gemini, uh, Virgo, right? What else do they say? Fire on the board. Okay, now what's coming in that they don't see? Two of Cups in reverse. So, like I said, Two of Cups in reverse talks about some kind of imposter. Somebody who's dishonest in love. All right in your midst. So some kind of manipulator. All right, they want to manipulate your emotions. Sorry, Delilah. Yeah, four of cups. So this is, um, you know, you're disgusted with this situation. That's what this is. You might see right through this. So you're disgusted. You're getting to the end of your tether right here. Tell me. What is this? Yeah, the end of your tether. That's what that is. Okay, here we go. Can I please have two more cards for the four of cups? All right, we'll take it. Something you don't want to see. Something you're in denial about. Something you don't want to see. Because once you know you see it, it can't be undone. And what you're looking for here is the Queen of Cups. You got, uh, this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So this could have something to do with one of those signs. Or this could be what you're hoping for. Like, this could be somebody who would honestly love you. Like, truly. Male or female. Uh, they're very warm. This could also be the energy that you're in. Depending on, you know. But uh, loving, warm energy. Kind, affectionate. Ace of Wands. So now we're talking about inspiration and success and passion. Right. Tell me. Tell me. Have you seen that sun card go by? It's, uh, here it is. Push it over. Show me the Ace of Wands, please, and thank you. Can I see the Ace of Wands, please, and thank you? Show me. Okay. Now. So there could be somebody younger, Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus coming in to offer you some kind of a uh, pentacle or a way to make money. Or this could be you just newly starting a project that could be financially fruitful. Uh, yes, with the Nine of Pentacles, that's success. So whatever it is, you will be successful at it. There is a King of Swords. Male or female, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This is somebody who's very smart and intelligent. This is somebody who could be in the military or the law. Uh, somebody thinks about what they're doing. So you could be thinking very heavily and seriously and smart and in a very smart way about, you know, the success you want to have building your pentacles, right? Now, let's see this nine of wands in reverse. There's obstacles, though. What are these obstacles? Oh, I got three. The wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. And the tower is in reverse. So that's really good. Um, huh. So let's see. And the five of swords is upright. So the Five of Swords talks about some kind of aggression around you. And the tower in reverse could be somebody going to prison. It could be somebody who's a mean, a tyrant-like. And uh, also it could be some kind of oppression. So it would be oppression with the Five of Swords. Um, oppression, aggression, possessiveness, destruction. The Wheel of Fortune is now turning in your favor. So now we have Sagittarian energy and we have Scorpio energy. Let's keep going. Show me the Six of Swords. So because of this, because of this aggression, oppression, and, uh, you know, obviously somebody may be going to prison, like I said, with Tower in Reverse. Uh, you're deciding to move away from this. Right? In the actual environment, you're moving away from all this drama. You do not want to be a part of this drama. This is what I'm hearing. It's not even your drama. That's the best part of the whole thing. Yep. Okay. Oh, I knew I saw that Leo card. Why? Because you want to move towards your happiness. And yeah, look at this. You're moving away. You you want the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor to, to for happiness. So whatever this is, you're leaving this behind you. All this drama. This is somebody else's drama. So you want to move away towards your happiness, illumination, beauty, brilliance, warmth, love, kindness, financial abundance, like you name it. So you're tempering your emotions. Sagittarian energy. This is the card of self control. Was oh, I'm hearing. Um, you're looking at the end game. The end game. The light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, you know, so you're not letting anything get into you. got your eye on the prize. This is what this is. Self-control. Slow and steady wins the race, I'm hearing. Eye on the prize. Show me the temperance. Yep, show me this. Please, thank you. What is this? Okay, well, can I have one please more for the temperance? Thank you. Wow. Yeah, Six of Swords. What did I tell you? So, you know, like I said, so our transition. Six of Swords is clarifying the Six of Swords here in case nobody's noticing this. 
choosing to move away from the drama, getting away from this drama, you know, leaving it behind you, collecting the swords so nobody can put them in your back and getting out of Dodge. Uh, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, physically, whatever, you know, it's going to be different for everybody. Now you got this page of cups. So there's some kind of information coming in. This is news. It's usually very good news. It's innocent. It's a message. You know, it could be just a message, maybe a text message, or even just a holla. Holla at you, you know, whatever. Somebody checking on you. Right. Show me. Okay, I'm not taking any of these because guess what? Let's go. Give me. Give me cards for the Page of Cups. Thank you. So there could be some kind of burdens that you don't know about with the moon. Yeah. Ten of Wands is definitely burdens. People are trying to bring you their burdens. Maybe you don't see them coming with the moon, okay? Uh, maybe there can be some kind of information that seems really innocent, but it comes with a lot of burdens with it, and you're not seeing that. Cancer energy. Is there secrets that you don't know? Maybe if somebody's lying to you. Some kind of underhanded forgaziness going on. All right. Um... Let's see. One, only one more for this. Uh, hold on a second. I didn't block the card. Okay, thank you. Hold on. There we go. <clears throat> okay, show me the moon here. Please, I'm not doing the whole video over there just because of that. Show me the moon. Show me the spoon. Page of Wands. Okay, so something you don't see about somebody who's either younger, uh, Immature, fire in their chart, sun, moon, rising of Venus, male or female, somebody who's egotistical, selfish, immature, only thinking about themselves, instantaneous self-gratification. So, you know, be careful because there could be somebody around you that has a lot of burdens that's very immature, looking to dump their crap on you, right? Like this poor donkey's got to carry all her crap. You're not the donkey in the situation here, so be careful, all right? Because there is some fugazi things going on around you, and it could have to do with somebody who's very selfish and immature. Could be some legalities with this hierophant, right? This is uh, anything traditional, marriage, uh, you know, religion, anything to do with paperwork. It could be somebody who could make a decision for you, like a judge or something. So, uh, yeah, that is now Taurus energy with the hierophant. So that could be Taurus. Here we go. Kipper, you got anything to say? So I read out all the signs as we went along. Someone really needs to hear this. Sudden wealth, number 11. Yep. Bad health, 31 or 4. So someone could be going in bad, in bad health, 31 or 4, or a sudden wealth could be on somebody's uh, thing here. It's 11 or 2. One of them is 2. 27 or 9. Unexpected income. Sudden wealth and unexpected income. I hope it's not because of somebody that's in bad health. Let's get some cards here. Privileged lady, 12 or 3. 11, 11, 1, 1, 1, 1 is the angel code. If you want to go Google that, anything else, Kipper? We have a courtship involved, number four. Let me see. You also have some kind of marriage. It could lead to marriage, number three. And some kind of a child involved in this, number 18. Anything else? 18 or 9. Could have been somebody who's childish. All right, let's pour a spade, spade. Anything else, Kipper? All right, that's it. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me. If someone really needs to hear this, always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy because it is an illusion. And trust in God because karma is real. Delilah says later. Love and light.